The main focus on this tutorial is on plugins. Some of you want to know how to create some special effects uh, for either videos uh, or pictures uh, you know stuff like this uh, it's quite easy on how to add your video from YouTube uh, to WordPress but also you also want to be able to do certain things that is just unique uh, maybe something like adding video from youtube in form of a gallery uh, let let me sh show you example of what i was i'm trying to tell you uh, appearance widgets you possibly want to be able to as you can see well let, let's go ahead and just use the web let's go to web all right and the web is just like here but what I just dragged that you saw this to youtube channel gallery all right to the footer area it's gonna give you some video these all these videos from youtube that i created uh if i remove them if i remove them and you refresh that page they're gonna go away alright so as you can see there is nothing here now so this tutorial is to show you how to first of all look for plugins alright uh, plugins are, uh, I'm trying to define it but let's just say plugins it's something that you can use computer program that you can use to add special effects to either your videos uh, or your pictures to display them uh, properly uh, in a very more enticing way on your website you know something that make your website pop so uh, now we're using this page called web uh, you can go ahead and log into the control panel uh, and go to the page that you want to add this as you can see there is nothing on this page all right uh, so what we're gonna do what do you want to see happen on this page all right well I would like to see happen I want to let's see what kind of plugins do they have out there display pictures you know uh pictures gallery like a slideshow all right so i already downloaded something called grant pages all grand gallery uh or video gallery all right so what you would do is you go to plugins if you click on plugin just to show you real quick this is what you're going to see this is the page for plugin that is already installed for this particular program that is running uh, on this page this website all right everything that is running on this website those plugins are controlling them all right uh, if you see all the films you can just go through it on your own now we're gonna go to web that we're trying to create some effects on uh, these are the different plugins that is been activated 
and the thing is once you download your plugin and you click activate uh, they turn to widgets and those widgets will appear here and from here you can drag them to wherever you want them to appear and also some of them equally appear some of them also appear on the web page that you're trying to use i sorry i'm walking I'm going too fast for you so i'm gonna slow down just a little uh, when you go to the very web page that we're trying to build which is web Uh, if you pay attention, some of the, these are plugins, FRA Gallery, Ad Video Gallery, YouTube, those are our plugins. If you click on this, it says Add Flash Album Gallery. Uh, insert a Kimberly Flash Embed tag. Uh, insert Spider Video. Background Color. Insert or Edit Video. Those are our plugins. That were downloaded so now without wasting time go to plugin and go to add new you're looking for something that you don't have click on add new all right let's say we want to di display video from YouTube I'm gonna just search for something that I don't have so we can do this together YouTube video gallery you click on enter uh, okay YouTube video gallery is a plugin for WordPress that allow you to create a nice YouTube video gallery okay they get they kind of give it five star by two people so let's go YouTube video gallery let's go ahead and install this and let's see what it does all right there's a lot of them all right this one says video gallery we already installed this uh ultimate video gallery i also installed this already all right so i'm going to install something new that you and i can work on and let's see the kind of special effect it creates install are you sure you want to install this plugin click ok It's gonna take a second then it will install it remember the name all right uh, YouTube video gallery remember the name YouTube video gallery because it could conflict with other YouTube channel this one's a youtube channel gallery that is the one that i used before that i showed you here uh youtube channel gallery that's the one that i i used this one now we're gonna install something new it's taking longer than necessary all right i'm gonna pause this video so i don't until it show the next page well as you can see it's still installing i don't know why it's taking longer so let's assume that we're installing this youtube channel gallery you click install all right it's gonna take you once it finished installing it's gonna show you once you start installing it's gonna show you a different page and it's gonna say this program is current presently installing when it finished uh, the installation uh, this All right, we're gonna go to plugins. Once it's finished the installation, 
this page will appear all right and you can look for that particular gallery for instance like youtube channel gallery all right look for it this is it all right it's a youtube channel gallery it's gonna say activate and you click on activate all right once you click on activate it's gonna activate that plugin and and it will automatically appear right here in the widget somewhere in the widget at the bottom youtube channel gallery all right once it appears as you can see i'm going to show you something look at ultimate video all right and if you scroll up and down you will see ultimate video gallery all right if you look for tiny mce advanced okay you see this is very very important i don't care what you do i do not care what you do look for tiny mce advanced if it is not automatically installed with your wordpress you must do this because that is the way you're gonna have you see what you have displayed right here that is it is the one that encompass everything that is hosting everything is the one that is hosting it so you're gonna have to install that all right and activate it so uh, and anything you install if you want to see what it looks like or what your website is gonna look like just go to view detail and click on screenshots do you see what it gave you all right it gives you add this box this box and that box add file edit insert view and has all these icons okay like i showed you earlier this this is the box right here this box right here and it gave you all this icon and that's what tiny mce advanced does for you all right so do make sure you install that if it's not installed all right and anything you want to see for instance uh what did we view earlier let's scroll down to youtube channel gallery click on view details it's going to show you what your it's supposed to do on your website and go to screenshots and that is the screenshot and it, it it looks like it doesn't have video you have to learn how to do this all right uh you make a lot of adjustments uh in order to use this this is used to display multiple videos on your youtube channels on your website especially if you're trying to make money uh, and when you create video on youtube uh, let's go to youtube real quick and this is my youtube channel this is my youtube channel all right and these are my videos i possibly needs to do better to enhance this and make it look more more interesting this is the ugly looking guy that is talking to you right now not that you give a, a bad butt you know but uh all right that's my youtube channel all right so let's take a step back youtube channel gallery uh stay with me on this stay with me stay with me i'm trying not to lose you okay you remember what we're trying to install earlier youtube video successfully installed the plugin all right so you know what it's gonna do you can click on activate plugin here or if you go to and let's go ahead and refresh click on plugin 
if you look for it let's see the name is YouTube video so we're gonna look for it it's not activated yet scroll all the way down and look for it do you see it YouTube video gallery right here at the bottom all right it says activate before you activate it you want to go to view details and see what will it look like on your website you know go to screenshots not everything has a screenshot okay go to screenshot funny video or more comedy so this is the way it's supposed to look like this plugin has not been tested with your current version of WordPress uh, it doesn't impress me too much so I don't really think I'm gonna waste your time to activate this but I tell you what let's take a chance because you can always deactivate uh, activate okay as you see YouTube video gallery has been activated so now you go to a place called appearance widget you click on widget and that should be in the widget right now so widgets uh, let's go ahead and click on widgets all right and let's look for it YouTube video gallery you have YouTube channel you have ultimate video video widgets ultimate video YouTube channel okay all right if it does not appear here we're gonna go to the page and reload this page let's reload the page and see if it shows up here as you can see this is all we have right now so let's go to web I see YouTube but that that one wasn't there before so where is the plugin it says it has not been tested with this WordPress so more than likely YouTube video gallery more than likely is not compatible widgets My goodness. All right, I can see it here. I guess it's not working with this. Uh, but what? I guess it's not working with that plugin occasionally occasionally you download something and activate it by the time it gets to widgets let's by the time it gets to widgets the name change you know to something different completely and it's you just have to pay attention to what you previously have on this page and what 
comes new and you can drag it and test it out and see if that is what you just newly added all right but in this situation i'm gonna youtube video gallery i'm gonna go ahead and deactivate i want to see one more time what it looks like screenshots all right well it doesn't look like it's gonna do anything for us so let's just go ahead and deactivate and i'm gonna delete whatever you don't need uh delete them if you upload if you load something are you sure you want to delete this file yes delete this file If you load something to your WordPress and you don't need it, please make sure you delete it because what it's going to do is going to make your entire system uh, slow down a little. All right. Uh, you see, I've taken too much of your time right now. We're going to stick with YouTube video gallery. All right. That has been activated and is presently show up, showing up in your YouTube channel. All right. Now this is easy, but also a little complicated. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it, how to use it, especially if you're trying to make money from YouTube. Come on, let's go. Goodness, you have to click on this drop down and let it stay like that then you can drag and drop all right that is it i drag it to the footer area all right if you refresh there's nothing there right now but if you refresh it Well, I'm not going to play that because <laughs> that's not the video I'm trying to display. But I just show you that real quick. So here's what is going to happen. All right. If you drag and drop without editing it, uh, that is what you're going to end up with. But you don't want to display somebody else's video and make money for them. You want to make money for yourself. Okay. It says YouTube user ID and it says YouTube. So basically right now you're advertising video for YouTube. Uh, and right here it says feed, player, thumbnail, link. All right. Feed is going to be where you say 24. Leave it like that. Player, you want to change it to widescreen for me. It works for me. And you can mess with it if you want it dark you want it red and the video quality how do you want it uh, i can go with 1080 or just leave it at default and thumbnail number of videos to show i say 50 videos because i have a lot of videos on the side and thumbnail you leave it like that standard aspect ratio white screen all right and link link test and i leave it like that now this is what is really important it says youtube user id if you have video on youtube okay if you don't know what your user id is first of all log into your youtube account um once you log into your YouTube account for the very page you're trying to, just in case you have more than one YouTube uh, web page, uh, you can go to Google, for instance, you can go to Google and create my YouTube user ID. Uh, and you click on this and it's gonna tell you straight up what your user ID is like in my own situation 
YouTube user ID and channel ID it gave me this it says advanced account setting click on that that is some crap not part of this class and it, it's gonna give you your account settings to find your channel user ID and channel ID sign into your YouTube and check your advanced setting account page and for me personally this is mine so please don't use mine I'm just trying to show you how this this works God how do I I'm trying to copy this I have too many pages open on my computer so it's making my computer to slow down I've done this before okay just copy uh, all right that is it that is done uh, copy that and and put them right here all right let me see if i can try one more time i did not succeed all right i guess i will succeed here my my bad i'm so sorry i show you that but please don't use my user id i'm trying to help you don't screw me up uh where are we and go ahead and paste once you paste you click save i already made adjustments to everything else that i needed all right 16 by this just click save and we can go to that website and reload once reload boom that is me all day baby all day that is me right there it replaced all the videos that were previously showing with my own information these are I created all these videos I have videos what honestly not exaggerating 50,000 American dollars cost to shoot this video by traveling to different countries and I uploaded them on YouTube for free so royalty free knock yourself out just make sure you give me the I'm not talking about the training you can look at some of this royalty free video that you can use in your film or your tutorial so and that is how you do that so you know how to do that right don't get stuck on my personal information otherwise I will sue you I promise you that alright so you can go ahead and become the professional that you are and now this is what we are created all right we learn few things here you learn how to go to plugins add new plugins Type in the plugin that you're looking for. All right, it's gonna come up. You scroll through it, and based on recommendation or what you're looking for, if it is a picture gallery, if it is a video gallery, if it is a video player, uh, uh, how to add whatever to your web page or to your post, uh, like buttons, uh, comment buttons. Uh, if you're selling stuff on your page, uh, cut, 
you know how to add cuts to your page so people can drag and drop whatever they buy to the cut uh prices and stuff like that you can all those plugins exist for free and you can search for them install them and go to the once you install it it's going to automatically take you here and you click activate plugins once you click on activate plugins uh plugins normally is below appearance okay and you can go into appearance or okay and look for widgets once you click on widget because once it is activated you can't do anything with that plugin from this window all right once it's activated you, it automatically turns to widgets so you go to appearance widgets and and everything is gonna be here all right you see there are two side available widgets it says available widgets to activate a widget drag it to a sidebar or click on it or click on it to deactivate a widget and delete its setting drag it back all right uh, you understand that to activate it because it said does not mean it automatically activated you have to select it like FLA gallery widget and drag it and drop it once you drop it you have to make adjustments uh, change it to whatever you want it to be all right once you don't need it anymore you want to deactivate it you just drag it and put it back here and it automatically remove it from the website along with every content that comes with it all right uh, and that is on plugins i'm gonna give another tutorial on widgets so you have a better understanding on how this thing works so uh, i taught you a little on this but that tutorial actually supposed to come under widgets not on plugin uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more detailed and make you understand things better so at this time this conclude the tutorial remember it's on plugins not widgets but i went a little bit into widgets for you so look for tutorial on widgets and you will have a better understanding all right uh thank you for watching i hope you learned something and do have yourself a nice day afternoon morning good night you know